I mean, you know, technical difficulties aside, I think everything seems to be all right now. Yeah, no, you, you got it. All right, cool, and you can hear me. It looks like I'm, everything's picking up pretty well. Oh, fuck. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Oh, We're having God, a little I bit of technical difficulties here. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to kill myself, to be honest with you. And I actually can sit back now and not have to put my mouth on the mic to be heard. Yeah, no, we. I, I was sitting there uh, messing with some things, and I, I think I've got us a good balance between, like, you know, recording and not having to be right up on the microphone. We're becoming more legit every day. No, we're not. Yeah. Don't give us that much credit. Come no. on. But uh, we're a big boy. We're a big boy. Yay. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I don't know what the hell is up, but uh, it looks like Audacity is actually kind of struggling on the laptop right now. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at That's like you can, great. Yeah, you can see that it's it's running real it's slow. It's running at 14 frames a second. Yeah, I don't even think it's going that fast. I played Skyrim at 14 frames a second. It was smoother <laughs> than this. Like... No man. So anyway, how you guys doing today? Hopefully, it's this is this is recording uh, sort of properly. Um, if it doesn't, you know, this will be a fun one to release. If it oh no yeah, if it doesn't, like it's just a bunch of like audio artifacts or something. That'll mm-hmm. that'll actually be amazing. And <laughs> I'm just gonna say fuck it, like upload I, it. Yeah, no, like we do everything in one take. Mm-hmm. We take all our errors and we just fucking run with them. <laughs> it's like, hey everybody, this week's episode is. Garbage. Here you go. <laughs> I mean, every week's episode is garbage. <laughs> it's just the level of garbage we. Uh... Yeah, yeah. No, I. I mean, I was sitting there. I listened to part of last week's episode because uh, there was something that that somebody mentioned that I wanted to make sure I, I linked to, and uh, it was uh, the Geek and Sundry. There, there. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I linked to their channel. Yeah. And I'm sitting there listening. It's like, Jake, <laughs> stop being like spastic you son of a bitch because <laughs> he i mean i love jake jake's you know jake's a bro but he was all over the goddamn place oh so. man it's so funny to see i'm sitting across from where jake was sitting yeah and to see him constantly fidgeting like a too high energy 12 year old or more like a six-year-old it's um, it's priceless it's you know kind of adorable we're sitting there talking about jake what he reminds me of is like john oliver's insistence that the Olsen twins are just one person moving back and forth really, really fast. Oh God, yeah, it, almost. He, Jake that's be Jake. Twins. Yeah, Jake is that. That is Jake <laughs> in a nutshell. Like Jake sits there and he just goes, he just fucking loses his shit, man. Stop! I'm over here. No, I'm over here. No, I'm over here. Like we could not keep Jake in one position, and we were at, we were talking about it later. Like we're joking. We're probably just gonna have to duct tape him down the next time we have him on. Yep. Because I mean, there's just nothing else that we can do. It's quite funny. Uh, but uh, anyway, I mean, it was entertaining. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I mean, I had some fun recording that, even though there were moments where I just sat there and did not listen to a damn thing the two of you were talking about. Because <laughs> you're so distracted. Yeah, no, I'm sitting there, I'm messing with this stuff, I'm looking at the book, I'm looking at like my character sheet, I'm like, what am I gonna do? What, what's this? What's going? And then I, you would explain, like, he'd ask a question, and I could, I, I knew you guys were talking, you know, you were talking about what we were doing at hand, mm-hmm. uh, but I. I'm sitting there and I'm just like, what? <laughs> you got what his hand? I like I know that you just explained something to him, but I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> like just completely gone. Everything is completely gone. And there was even that point in the in the podcast where I look at you and say, "I'm sorry, I have no idea what you just said." Yeah, because <laughs> you started explaining the modifiers and how they worked, and I'm just like. <laughs> Oh my god! I the first time I played uh, a role playing game, that was that was like moments of that over and over again. When you go into like base attack, yeah. it took me like weeks to understand what the fuck base attack was. It was seriously every time you know my turn comes up, it's like okay, so we doing? I'm gonna hit him. I'm like all right, roll for it. And I'm like I fucking don't know what I'm rolling. <laughs> what is it again? Oh, this number. All right. <laughs> I still have no idea what that is, but that's something we can get into later. So, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Stop fucking up your mic, I Luke. I just fucking tapped it. It's all God right. Goddamn. There's a lot of hard work getting the shit to function right. <laughs> and it's probably still not functioning right. I'm willing to bet that I'm going to play this back later and we're just going to have to kill ourselves. There's just been a gaps where it's like, hey, I, it's games, just gonna be. I, there's just going to be a, like a, a complete background static. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just, yeah, like we've had that before. Some of our early episodes have that. And then I figured out how to eliminate it. Yeah. And then it came back and I have no idea what to do about it. Oh, God. So that's what I was hoping this power strip will do. Like this power strip will filter out some of the line noise, but I have no idea if it's actually going to. Yeah. So, um, all right. So we should probably maybe get on with the podcast rather than just sitting here rambling, even though rambling is probably the only thing we do that's good. I mean, yeah, you know, you we know. ramble. Yeah, we, we do ramble a lot, especially Luke. Ramble, Luke ramble, is ramble. great at rambling. I'm, it's a skill. Oh, yeah. It's it's an art. <laughs> Luke yes. has perfected it to an art form. He's taken it beyond <laughs> skill. He, he is the Da Vinci of rambling. Yep. Although I, I guess some people think Da Vinci was overrated. I don't know. I think Luke's a great <laughs> rambler. those people. <laughs> <laughs> or was it Van Gogh? I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Who cares? One of them. All right, so what Which are we – cut his ear off? I don't know. Uh, okay. I honestly do not. I probably should. I feel like I should know. I think it was Van Gogh. I don't care. Okay. They're all insane and dead now, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. We're going to talk about a couple things today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we talking? I have no idea. Yeah. Oh. I completely forgot everything we discussed in my living room before we came in here. Because, all right, guys, I got in here and I started to, like, adjust my microphone and, and my pop filter and stuff so that I could see the computer in front of me. Because where I sit is where the laptop sits that we record with. And it was at, we really should have recorded it. Joe it's, fighting yeah, with his pop filter. It's one of those things where like I really want to get a get us a camera to put <laughs> in here, like just sit in a corner that and have it capture like the entirety of the room because we can totally do that. And just, you can just watch as we have our technical difficulties, like me fighting with my pop filter. I, I was getting legitimately frustrated. Like fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Anyway, we do have some topics to discuss today. Um, one of the things that we did want to kind of want to touch on is yeah. the the loot box loot box controversy. Of course, we can't yeah. escape loot box bullshit. Um, but the Hawaii, oh yeah, games as services, games they, as a service. Or what yeah. is it? Uh, live services now. They yeah, yeah, they're calling about. it games as a service now, being called live services. Which, of course, you know, they want to keep making bullshit. money. Which, you know, what I completely understand. You, you want to make money. That's the exact point of getting into a business. You want to. You, okay, fine. If you want to make all the money. Yeah, like I, I don't. I've never minded loot boxes in like free to play games. But, you know, you sit there, you tell me I got to pay $60 for your game, $50 for a DLC season pass thing. Oh, and by the way, if you want to open these loot boxes, you got to pay, you got to buy some currency. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or play the game for 7,000 hours. And then it comes out that you haven't been paying your developers for overtime. You've been working them 100 hours a week. Yeah. And uh, you wonder why they're fucking wanting to unionize. And your voice actors, you're not paying them anything. They're one. They're uh, going on strike. Yeah, it's, and it's then just, you it's say, just, "Well, we're we need to make more money on these video games," but you're telling your investors, "No, we're making tons of money." And you not only money, hand yeah, like, fist. and not only that, you got these instances where you're sitting there, and you make the argument, "Well, game development is getting more expensive. We got to push further and further for technologies. We got to make things look more realistic." Listen, listen, right now, I am a graphics whore. I always have been. That's why I built a high-end gaming rig. But, dude, I don't need every single hair on a person or a monster individually rendered. Yeah. Fucking stop it. <laughs> and, by the way, you're the ones who put yourselves in this situation by continually pushing that envelope. So if you want to have anybody to blame for that, blame yourselves. These are the expectations you've set for us. So these are the expectations we've come to have. One of the things that bugs me about the, the companies that are screaming that tend to be the Activisions and EA with, you know, certain games. E- EA, they've pushed uh, some of their games lately, like Battlefront 2, beautiful. Um, but Activision, their games aren't ever really, like, top of the line. Like, yeah, Call I of mean... Duty is not like, the, oh my god, this, I can't believe it. it looks like I'm in the fucking war. It doesn't, it doesn't hit that level. Uh, yeah, if you I mean, want to argue that, Square Enix can argue that because those dumb motherfuckers build a new uh, engine every game. Yeah, no, I mean, Square Enix, it, it, they're the ones that push that, that envelope for sure. Yeah. But I've never looked at the Call of Duty thing like, damn, this looks so realistic and so yeah. lifelike. It'll look Or it looks cool. so great. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I don't even, I've never even gotten the impression that Call of Duties were technologically advanced. Um, the, you know, uh, like, the, the cinematic stuff, like... 
uh, the uh, Modern Warfare games when you would yeah, yeah. always do that, like, oh my god, a fucking building falling and cool shit like that that happens around you. Uh, but it's still, it's not like, it's not like fucking you see the it's individual dust particles. Yeah, like, it's all pre, it's all pre-rendered. None of it's like, uh, live it's not in destructible. In engine yeah. action, yeah, no, it's like, I know. I mean, it's not, it's not like something you can interact with. Yeah. Um, whereas, like, I fucking give them shit, but EA has a much better destructible environment engine than Call of Duty's ever had. Oh, yeah, Those maps sure, don't man. do... Call of Duty never does anything, but they're still going to sell a billion copies every fucking year. And that's... Fuck like, you for going back to Black Ops 2, by the way. God, I hate that series. I it's personal opinion, but I don't like Black Yeah, Ops. I, I don't care either way. Like, I haven't played a Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 3. I completely yeah. lost... Like, and that was only... I, that was only because somebody said, you gotta buy this game. Here's a gift card for Best Buy. Go buy it. Like, <laughs> which, by the way, uh, did I ever tell you what I ended up having on that? Mm-hmm. I went and I bought the game and I played it. And it was a great game. Yeah. But the gift card, I ended up leaving on my stove, my, my range top one day. And I turned the stove on without realizing that, like, it was there. <laughs> no more gift cards. Because it was one of those things where I just came in, dropped my shit down on the closest flat surface that I had, which was, for some reason, my fucking oven at the time. Yeah. And I never moved the gift card. So one day, man, I go to, like, make some eggs or some chicken or something. I turn on the burner, completely forget. The next thing I know, I have a fucking melted card and black smoke all in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Stop. God damn. Like, it didn't matter because, like, I, I took my... I only put my smoke alarm up mm-hmm. when they needed to do an inspection of some kind. Otherwise, I kept it down because there was no, there's nothing in my apartment at that time that could even catch fire. Yeah, I had a plastic fucking table and no carpet because I had ripped my carpet up from that time um, because I had bed bugs. Like I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna shy away from that. My dumbass ex girlfriend bought bed bugs in my fucking apartment by borrowing a vacuum cleaner from somebody who had bed bugs. So. Um, but yeah, like I had nothing. So I'm like, I, I don't need this. And it's just going to annoy me when I do cook things that require smoke in yeah. a way like sausage. Like, you know, you, you want to burn sausage a little bit. At least I like my sausage burn a little bit. And that produced, it didn't produce smoke, but it produced enough to sit there and yeah. set the alarm off. It's Especially like, if you've got a, a gas burner. Um, so I've got electric range. Yeah, so. no, mine's, it was an electric range, but I didn't have ventilation. No. So, like, there was no big vent system over top that I could just turn on, so I had to open the window across yeah. the way. And so and so every now and then I would produce just enough smoke from cooking, even though I've learned how, I had learned how to cook properly by then, um, that I would, yeah, set the smoke alarm off. I'm like, this yeah, is yeah, fucking yeah. annoying. So I took it down. <laughs> like Stripped it down, take the batteries out. Yeah, I just took it down, it took the, the battery out. I didn't do that. <laughs> I kept it. I just took the battery out. <laughs> I even left it up on the fucking ceiling too. Like I just left it there. I just took the battery out. Like there, I'll put the battery in, whatever. So yeah. There's a a clip a friend of mine posted once in a chat where this dude's in. It looks like some kind of like an older barn or something like that. And there's a smoke alarm going off. And he's like, "This is seventy fucking years old or something like that." This smoke alarm looks old as fuck. So he gets up there and he's trying to fucking find an off button, can't find an off button. Starts smashing the fucking thing with a hammer. <laughs> it's not turning off. Breaks it off the wall. Has it in fucking pieces. It's still not turning off. Finally, smashes enough where it finally stops. And then all of a sudden, you start hearing the beeping again because this is the wrong fucking alarm. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like oh my god it was like the haunted smoke alarm it's fucking great i actually finally set this alarm off uh yeah. about a week ago um, and it's, it doesn't it doesn't beep it buzzes mm-hmm. it's a buzzer and uh what had happened was i uh, i had put my one of my cast iron pans on the stove and i put a little bit of i put it like filled it like three-fourths away with water and turned it on to let it like the let the water boil and take up some of the burnt shit up with it yeah. um and i forgot about it oh god yeah and, and, and i'm sitting there i'm in my room um i got my headphones on i'm playing a game i hear i hear a noise i'm like what the fuck is that noise i'm thinking something's outside and i get up i go up, open my door it's like oh fuck my whole front room is just filled with smoke and it's like <laughs> well i'm a fucking idiot yeah Thankfully, it's not one of those ones that, like it, it's powered by the the building, but it's not tied into the building in a way, so it didn't like alert the fire marshals or anything. But oh my god, it was just I am a moron. Someone smack me, please. Oh god, a few years ago, 
uh, I came home one, uh, at some point, and I'm go. I don't remember if I was throwing the trash out or something. And there's a uh, tea kettle or a pot, right? Uh, it was just absolutely burnt the fuck up. And I look, and sure enough, we've got a brand new one. And I'm like, Grandma, did you fucking burn another tea? And she's like, Shut up! Don't tell your grandfather. <laughs> and she walks off. <laughs> I guess it was a regular goddamn thing for her, and he'd get mad. <laughs> that is that is really awful. Oh yeah, I, that's kind of horrifying. I'm sitting there thinking, I, like, I, if you didn't I'm live terrified. there, I yell at her all the time. Like, you got to be careful. Yeah, like, like I would hate to be in your position. Like, I'm, you're, you know, you're down in your room or whatever, and you're just passed out. And the next thing you know, it gets really, really warm, and you're like, what the fuck's going oh, on? God. And then it's you go upstairs, nightmare. your whole kitchen's on fire. Like, thanks, Grandma. That's why I'm really glad we have an electric flat. Slows, yeah, flat no, oh my stoves. god, dude, man, I, I couldn't imagine your grandma trying to sit there and light like a, a fucking straight up or gas turning on a gas. Oh, oh yeah, no, that would be terrifying. that would be horrifying. Speaking of alarms and setting them off, I you know I got my Nest alarm here, my Nest Secure installed. I mm-hmm. set the alarm off like the first day. Yeah, um, I'm sitting there and I I install like the detects to to go off when I have like doors opened and shit. And I left this door unlocked and I went to go lock it, and I didn't hit the button up top there, which you can hit that button and it'll turn off the alarm for ten seconds. Like it won't it won't go off. Yeah, and I forgot to do that. Open the door and it's like. And it goes beep, blah blah blah. It's open. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck. I go to walk over to it, put my code in. I guess I fucked the code up mm-hmm. because it didn't work. And it started going off. That motherfucker is loud. Oh yeah. That motherfucker is louder than the smoke alarm. <laughs> by, like, oh, it, it, it's like, all right. The difference in loudness is going from Ron to Jake. Yeah. Like that's how that's how incredibly. It, I, 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 ours is probably similar. It's yeah. not only loud, it's piercing. Yes. Like, you just can't fucking, you can it kind of ignore loud noises. You can't fucking escape No, this. no, this is not something you're ignoring, yeah. I'm sitting like, oh, shit, I, this is, and I, I rarely run in this apartment because I'm so relaxed and there's so little distance to cover. That thing started going off. I fucking, I, I book it for, like, the 20 feet from the alarm to my bedroom to grab my key so I can hit it with a fucking tag. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop it. Like, it's just me. It's fine. Oh, yeah. But that was my mistake, man. I fucked that one up, man. And, and sure enough, I, I, I got to discover nobody is breaking into this apartment without everybody fucking knowing that someone is oh, in yeah. this apartment. <laughs> fucking other people opening their apartments. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this going? What is that? So yeah, I got to discover just how loud that is. Yeah, it's ear bleeding loud. If it goes off for a certain time, do they call you? Uh, well, no, I don't have the monitoring services. Oh, okay. That's like an extra, um, as an extra fee per month, mm-hmm. and like I, I would have to, I'd have to sign a three year contract with the monitoring service, and mm-hmm. it would be like twenty five bucks a month at that point. Yeah, okay. but I'm like, I I don't really need professional monitoring services. Um. Because I got the Canary Cam too, yeah, and they're a separate, obviously a separate subscription for what they offer. But it's like, I got the half off code, so it's fifty bucks a year, and they will call emergency services for me. Oh, okay. That's so cool. I don't need the Nest services Somebody's right calling. now. Yeah, like I don't need the Nest services right now. Um, I'm thinking when my Canary Cam subscription expires, I may switch over to Nest Cams, mm-hmm. but I might just choose to keep that because it's cheaper and it offers the same exact thing. Yeah. And way, what it covers is like, I don't know if I've ever shown you the video feed, but it basically covers the entirety of the living room. That's nice. Like there's, there's nowhere. I mean, obviously unless you get behind like the shit, like the counter or something or the couch, but like it sees everything. It sees the whole room. So I'm, I'm fucking like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. No, ours will call. And, uh, just <laughs> once my grandmother set it off and just fucking let it go. Like, I don't know why she didn't turn it off quickly. Maybe she didn't hear it. No, she did hear it. Yeah. She knew it was going off, but right. she couldn't find the key fob or some shit like that. Right, right. So I go up there. Well, I, I get got it that off. problem already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, she's still trying to do the code or something <clears throat> like that. So they call, and I pick up the phone. And I was like, yeah, my grandmother set off her alarm, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, well, we need your passcode. And I was like, I don't uh, – hold on. And I grabbed her. I was like, what's your code? And she starts giving me numbers. And the lady's not telling me if they're right or wrong. Uh, not really. Like she's just kind of sitting there 
And I'm just giving her the numbers. I'm like, are you going to fucking send the police or something? Finally, I give her um, whatever, uh, one of the numbers my grandmother came up with. Yeah. And I, it, the I, line went up, dead. I love that she said she came up with. Exactly. That's kind of the way I felt about it. Right. The line goes dead. And I'm sitting there looking at the phone like, uh, does that mean I'm cool? Or are we going to fucking have cops bust in my door in a couple minutes? No, oh, that would be terrible, man. Oh, it would have been oh, funny. My God. I'd have just pointed at her and walked back to my room, just be like, hey, deal with it. <laughs> she did it. Yeah, yeah. They got, get pissed. They got guns pointed at you, like, you know, don't you go anywhere, boy. Yeah, Put no, your hands up. Fucking have gone. Oh, God. That would be that would be horrifying, just because your grandma... Was... Oh, if I had pissed her off that day, be like, there he is. <laughs> like, oh, you fucking... He's got <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> he's got the devil's lettuce. No, she'd be like, oh, he's got alcohol. Like, what? It's not illegal. <laughs> uh, uh, grandma, I, I, I'm I'm 29. It's it's yeah. legal for me I to have know. alcohol. It's, it's, it's okay. It's it's fine. What is, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I would love, I would love to have that situation where it's like someone sits there. He's got liquor, and the cop is like, "Okay, how old are you, exactly. son? I'm 32." <laughs> okay, so why why is that a problem? Exactly. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Okay, we just that's comp- the problem with living with family. But yeah. fucking three hundred dollars a month rent, I can't beat that. Yeah, and and you got like. Like all that, all the space, and yeah. Uh, I mean, Luke. Lo- Luke lives in the uh, sleep. What well, you live in the basement, and yeah. the basement's awesome. Of course, I'm a basement dweller. Oh right, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I used to be though. I guess that technically counts. My apart, my last apartment was in the basement. Yeah, and it fucking looked like it. Oh my god, it was a shithole, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh my no, like I mean, that was actually when I uh, I moved down here was planning on getting a different place and unfortunately my grandfather passed away so kind of became well i'm gonna stay and help my grandmother out and make and sure then she doesn't burn like, the place down exactly yeah and then it Which was like a problem. well i could move out into a shithole apartment or for the same price keep living here right yeah. and you know fucking not let my grandmother burn her house down <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I, I mean, for me, it would be a no-brainer. Like, yeah. I'd, I'd put up with my grandma if it meant that I didn't have to deal with like, like, dude, that that apartment was a shithole. It flooded. It had roaches. I'm like, I, I got to a point where I gave up cleaning it, like, just mm-hmm. completely. I'm like, I don't fucking care anymore. Yeah. And when when roaches are in your refrigerator, there's you have no fucks left to give. Yeah. When you can't keep bread. Even in a sealed container, because they somehow get in anyway, you mm. fucking give up. You don't care anymore. Yeah. And I left that. Con- I left. I admittedly left that apartment in a very terrible state because mm. that's how it was left to me. So, like, yeah. you guys deal with it now. I'm not fucking dealing with it anymore. But On top the- of the fucking or like the basement wall eroding and like oh, every yeah. time it rained, fucking yeah. Flooding. No, I mean, I had a hole. They dug the building a- should have been condemned. They they cut a hole. Into the foundation in my closet in the bedroom to put a sump pump in, which would pump the water back out into like the area where it flooded right back in. Yeah. So it was like, what the fuck was even the point of that? Idiots. Like, I was, I was so happy to be out of there. Like yeah. it was it was a terrible place. Although it was my place. Yeah. So you know whatever. We just completely went for like. 12 minutes completely off topic. Yeah, good. Used up 12 minutes. <laughs> so did you hear Spyro's getting a remake? I did, trilogy? yeah. No, I, I heard that it's um, what, what it's supposed to be a PS4 Times exclusive and then released to other Probably. consoles. Yeah. Because it sounds like Crash is going to come out to the yeah, other consoles Yeah, the soon. insane trilogy is going to – I mean, I, I, would, I would totally buy that on the Switch. Uh, on the Switch, yeah. It's, yeah. For some reason – uh, these games, like I wouldn't purchase on the Xbox One. Yeah. I'm totally finding myself like, yeah, no, that that sounds like something. Yeah, I'd play yeah, on the Switch. no, like like there are plenty of like indie PC titles that are coming out. We're like, oh, that looks oh, yeah. really interesting. Is it going to be on Switch? Yeah, well, because they can't get a foothold in Steam because of the fucking absolute dumpster fire that is the Steam marketplace right now. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely turned into e- somehow it's even worse now. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't get it. Like, when it was oh, green light, it was bad. Now? Well, like, uh, in full credit to Jim Sterling on, like, 90% of everything we talk about. But uh, he even said the fact that their new thing is 
pay a hundred dollars and you can put your shit on there. Yeah. He's like, it's it's gonna be worse. Why yeah. would that stop people? At least with green light there was the semblance of a gatekeeper. Now it's just pay the money and you're on. Yeah, no, before the gatekeeper was the community and while yeah. it wasn't the greatest, I mean there was there was a whole lot less shoveled shitware that was getting in and now oh, it's just like Yeah, and now it it's like the flood leaps are open once again. It, I mean because a hundred a hundred dollars like that's nothing oh, when yeah. somebody can put an asset flip up there and make a hundred grand in, in and two put weeks. the same one up there. Yeah, and just keep putting it up under different I don't think they're making a hundred grand. But. I'm just uh, it's just a number yeah. I'm out there. Like, like even just a grand. Like, if you can make a grand in two weeks yeah. from paying a hundred dollars just to put an asset flip up on Steam with a shit title, like, dude, fucking a, man. Yeah, and then change a little bit and keep doing it. Don't even change anything. Just fucking like, like, like seriously, it with a different name. Yeah, like reupload it under a new developer name with a new email. I mean, that that's been shown to happen with people where they've yeah. done that. And it's like, oh, well, okay, thanks. Now yeah. we have shit games on Steam. Oh, I did like hearing that. uh that company got all their games ripped from Steam. Uh, oh, be- well, are you talking about the one that was posting fake reviews? Yeah, yeah. The, the CEO told the fucking yeah. the people in the company go start reviewing the game highly on Steam. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just, so- the dude fucking put his foot in his mouth. Oh yeah, for sure. Like I, 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 that was one of those things when I saw that I was like, yes, good yeah. job, you're finally doing something. something. And then next week it's like, oh no, it's just back to the same old shit. Oh yeah, I'm because, sure. It's, I mean, it's just a one case where hey, yeah. they finally got somebody. So. It's just, but I mean, as much as I got to give shit to Steam, I mean, it's like Jim Sterling said, you got to love something to criticize it. And I exactly. love Steam, but holy shit, unless it's a triple A title mm-hmm. or it's like something where it's just a pile of shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like that's all it's become these days. Like you sift through it. That's why I don't even check any, like any lists other than. The top sellers and the special, the first two pages of specials. Yeah, because anything that, beyond that is usually just either crap games, just uh, uh, just like I said, more more of the shovelware, shovelware yeah, mm-hmm. or just pieces of DLC that are some like okay, yeah, yeah that's a great. lot of times. Like I I don't have that game, so why the fuck would I care that its DLC is on sale? Mm-hmm. You know, like one of those games though. Like like speaking of some indie games, mm-hmm. um, you see, you saw you know about the game Icy right? It's the uh, it's the game where you play as like a little anime girl robot. And yeah. It's a it's a it's a meta. It's a very meta game where like the the uh, narrator narrates the story, and if you follow what the narrator is doing, you know you get through the game. But then you can do other things that the narrator is saying. A little bit like the. Uh, bah, 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 bah. There's a couple of games into that recently. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool concept. That's a game I'd love to come to Switch. Yeah, because it looks really cool, and I mean, it's totally right up the Switch's alley with 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 the, the kind of indie games that have been out. Like you know, when it comes to the Switch, I believe the, the creator of Stardew Valley said it's outsold every other platform on yep. the Switch. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that have said like they got on when they got their game on the Switch. It was like it's like a breath of fresh air compared yeah. to Steam it, because, I or mean, any other platform. It's like boom, it's there. It's there. It's being sold. People are buying it. Like I bought Super Meat Boy on on Switch, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm totally gonna play that. Like that, that's one of those things that you know how we were talking about how we were gonna do an indie review. Yeah, that's one. Of, I think that's the game I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my indie review on. Because if I start playing something like Stardew Valley, I I don't know that I'll be able to finish. <laughs> Stardew. I bought Stardew Valley. I played it a little bit, and it is. Uh, it's very – it's like I knew it was more than just a farming game. Right. But the amount of more that it is, like going through town and interacting with these characters and stuff, I'm like, oh, my God, this could eat my life. <laughs> yeah, no, like I already but it's know. it's very interesting. I already know that like, that's an issue and it's like yeah. I want to I wanna avoid that. Because if my dumb ass can play Skyrim for 200 hours for like the 60th time, oh my God. like I know something like that will, will take up every bit of it and it's like no we got other things to do joe yeah exactly. we, gotta, we gotta we gotta do this thing we gotta, games. Do that. we gotta play other games I, I gotta start playing the metro games and shit mm-hmm. like that like i can't sit there and 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 devote my life to a game like that like that would be yeah. terrible <laughs> like I've, like i said i've already done it with zelda i've done it with uh fire emblem warriors which i've gone back to kind of playing a little bit i've yeah. done it with skyrim again which i still hate myself for <laughs> i mean the thing is i hate the price tag on it yeah but skyrim itself is a it's a great like 
and it's it, it can be it's a good, great in a different it different ways. It's still Bethesda great, where it's like you've got all your bugs, you've got all the issues that they didn't fix and things like that. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I mean, it's a fun game to play. It's just you get into that world and have a blast. I mean, you totally can. Like I know I've I've totally have uh, gotten into it's just it. Unfortunate <laughs> that they just fucking keep porting the same garbage version. Yeah, like like. <laughs> That, that that does bother me to this day. Like they still never fixed any of the game breaking bugs. They never fixed any of like the fucking quest breaking bugs. It's like this is your this is your what fourth or fifth attempt, your yeah. fourth or fifth chance, and you still didn't fix this shit. But modders have fixed this shit. Can you at least? Here's what you do, Bethesda. You take the unofficial patches and you just fucking incorporate them into the game. That would be great. Like boom, there's your there there's like. 80% of your bugs fixed. And they're going you... <laughs> to add them to their fucking uh, mod marketplace, that fucking whatever it's called. Garbage. Oh, yeah, Creation Club. Creation Club. Which I am actually really glad isn't on Switch. It's not. And that's that makes it for just a clean, vanilla Skyrim yeah. experience. Which, of course, like you said, there's bugs every fucking yeah. where. Honestly, but... I'd, kinda, I'd probably be interested if there was Creation Club because <clears throat> there is free stuff that comes to the Creation Club. Uh, so I'd be kind of yeah, but yeah. at the same time, it's just it most of it's just bullshit cosmetic stuff. And like, I mean, I, fucking the like I can't play PC Skyrim because I spend most of my time just going and finding mods, and then for five minutes I'll play the game and be like, oh look, I got a dildo sword, and then it's like the fucking the entirety like the entire enchantment of playing Skyrim is broken at that point. Yeah, no, you've, <laughs> I you've, killed the dragon you've with a dildo of, sword. I'm done. Like, there's your immersion. It's it's done. It's over with. I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> like I did the same thing not too long ago, and I don't know. I don't remember why I started playing it on PC, but it was before I started playing it on Switch. And yeah. I didn't. I didn't even load any major mods into it, man. I just I threw some prettier mods in, made it look a little nicer, and play a little smoother. And I I played through the opening sequence, left Helgen. Went off to, like, the left from the initial path. You walk with rail off. Killed the bandits at the bandit camp and thought, all right, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it's been for me. But then I get it on fucking Switch. And I think when it comes to, like, I'm, pl- I'm able to play it while on the shitter. Yeah. Like, that's it's a, that portability. Yeah, awesome like, that, that's a big deal, man. Like, I don't know. It's just, I, I hate myself for you it. You just I, walk around with it. I'll find I didn't myself. Enjoy it. Like, I'll take my Switch from my TV over to my computer desk, yeah. which is, like, you know, <laughs> fucking 20 feet. And it's like I'm sitting at my computer playing the Switch, even though it's right over – it could be right over there at the TV. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, same. it's a similar experience, man. Uh, or I'll sit there and play it while I'm watching something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, let's, let's, let's move on because I don't know what the fuck we've been talking about. Oh, I, I mean stuff. Uh, speaking of mods, though, yeah. did you see where people are putting in like Sonic characters in Dragon Ball Fighter Z? I, yeah, I, I have seen that. The, yeah, just the craziest shit. I love modding communities, man. They're they're amazing. Like some of the things they figure out how to do, it's like, all right, that that's really yeah, like Super Sonic and Hyper Shadow and all that shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Super edgy shit, doing command mail waves. Yeah, like, what the fuck, man? Sonic doing a command mail wave. Fuck it. You know what? Do it. Yeah, it's awesome. Why not? Like. What's the alternative? At some point, somebody's going to come out with a fighting game that is going to end up modded to the point of, like, Mugen. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's what people want is a thousand different characters that oh, play yeah, differently. Yeah. I used to I used to download uh, M- or I downloaded Mugen, yeah, tons yeah. of characters, so right. I could have, like, Homer Simpson fighting Master Chief. Because why not? Yeah, you know, like, that shit's like, funny as fuck. It's hilarious, and it's even better when Homer wins. No, hell yeah. <laughs> like, how the fuck did it even happen? Don't. Like, I don't know, man, but I, I Mooching's one of those things I haven't looked into in such a long time. Like, I think the last time I looked into it was, like, 2007. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know it's still a thing, because, of course, it's still going to yeah, be a yeah. thing. I mean, it's the sort of thing where I don't think it's ever going to be, like, it's going to look much better, but simply just adding more and more and more characters. Yeah, more features and, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, like I don't know though. It look it definitely looks uh it's not like something I'd I'd mess with but not get into. Yeah, I'm te- like I've said before, I'm fucking awful at fighting games. Yeah, so no, just I'm not, seeing the, the I'm amount not, of characters I'm, is I'm, what I'm, interests me. I'm definitely not great either. I used to be uh, pretty good at store like Street Fighter type games, but 
I mean, we're talking early nineties when yeah. I could, I could sit there, pop in super street fighter two turbo and play for six hours. I mm-hmm. can't, I can't do that anymore because they don't hold my interest like they used to. Yeah. So that, that's also a thing. Cause I mean, how many times can you beat somebody up before you're like, okay, this ain't fun anymore. Yeah. At least that's, that's, that is it for me. Like I'm not going to sit there. I'm not disparaging anybody who can play fighting games. If you can more power to you, you know, like I can sit down and play RPGs, like JRPGs, turn-based shit. And I know you can't do that cause they're fucking boring for you. But for me, I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. So I like them. So I don't know. I, uh, I played fighter Z the other day on my vacation and I was playing through the arcade mode and got, I had like S ranked everything because it was easy as shit. Right, right. So I'm at the S rank or A rank, uh, the final stage, the hardest one you can be at for that uh, set right, of arcade right. levels. And uh, it's, it was um, fucking Goku Black, uh, Little Boo, Kid Boo, Kid Boo, and um, Perfect Cell oh. are the enemies. Yeah. And. I didn't just get beaten by Kid Boo. Uh I like I was broken as a human being. It the the fucking computer beat me so like I, in the fight uh I ended up doing a little over a quarter of damage to two characters. Lost uh two of my characters which I think were like Goku and Gohan, Teen Gohan. Right. And I'm like, okay, I can still win this. Kid Boo is at like half health. The other two are at a quarter health. And Piccolo's 100 percent. Yeah, coming yeah, in. Right. I can. I'm planning on using yeah ranged attacks and just blasting from a distance, and I can fucking beat this. Piccolo didn't even fucking get on screen all the way before Kid Buu did a combo that left me with like 10 percent fucking health. It was like it was. There was no blocking. There was no moving. I didn't know you could fucking combine combos like this in the game. Oh, the game just shat over my entire existence. Beat the fuck out of Piccolo, and I just stopped and immediately turned off the console and walked away. It's like you know what? I was like, I'm done. I'm, done. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Yeah. This is I fuck fuck you. This is getting uninstalled tomorrow. <laughs> Oh man, I was uh, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I was like, I don't play games online for this, or uh, don't play fighting games online for this reason. And the arcade just did to me what a fucking twelve year old and fucking Kim, Timbuktu could do. See, that's, that's why um, I had a similar thing happen to me when I was playing a Xenoverse two on my Switch. I'm sitting there and uh, I'm fighting. I'm 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 doing story mode, and I I'm to a point where you have to correct the Saiyan timeline, so it's Vegeta and Nappa. And in this scenario, they both turn into the great apes because they both live long enough. Yeah. And I'm sitting there and, you know, like there's a thing where like you, you have to hit them and knock a stamina bar down and then you, you blast them. Mm-hmm. You, you can damage them. And after you knock their stamina bar down, if you go behind them, grab their tail, you pick them up, slam them, do like an eighth of their health. So you just eight times each, boom, it's done. I was fighting Vegeta. I'd already beaten Nappa. So it was just Vegeta I had now. And, uh. I'm sitting there, man. I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting this shit down. I'm like, I have just one more, one more grab of his tail, and I had a stamina bar down. To, I, I honestly, judging on the size of the thing, I had maybe t- fifteen pixels yeah. of the stamina bar. Like, and this is like a a thousand. Like, it, it's it's a really long stamina bar. So this is maybe two or three percent stamina. I'm sitting there. And I'm behind him, and I go to like I'm I'm punching his tail because you can do a lot of damage to the stamina bar by punching their tail. And like I said, I get him down Punch two. Him in the butt. Yeah, I get him down two three percent. Vegeta smacks me with his tail <laughs> and kills me. <laughs> oh, ouch! And I'm like, you got to make this worse. This was like my sixth attempt. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I looked at it. I looked at my switch. I looked at my controller. I just said, nope, I'm fucking done. Yep. <laughs> I shut everything down, and I just sat there in my little saucer chair in the living room, like, just depressed. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> like, I skipped the anger stage and went straight to the... Uh, <laughs> like, just... I, I Instead of being incredibly infuriated, like it was with a stupid fucking pop filter just 20... It was just, what, 45 minutes ago, I was just like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what do I do now? Like you said, man, I was just a broken. Just oh broken. yeah, it's just it's just like you just fucking no, I'm done. It broke Defeated, my whole spirit, man. Beaten. Yeah, I give up. I'm done, and I haven't I haven't gone back to that since. And that yeah. was like a week and a half ago. Oh yeah, like, I, I feel that. 
I'm like, I'm, I just don't. I, I was playing the game and just roaming around the, the common areas for a little while, but I, I haven't gone back to do anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of which, though, I gotta start playing Super Mario Odyssey again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, game's oh, so fun. So that beautiful. game, that game is amazing. But I got, I got to get back into that, and I think I will. Uh, this weekend, I think I'm gonna play a little more Odyssey because fuck yeah, Odyssey, Odyssey is so good. I gotta get back into it because I'm apparently at like the best part when you uh, you first go to the city, the New Donk City, New Donk City. It's all like dark and raining and sad and shit. Yeah. And I beat the boss, and now apparently you go back to New Donk City, or you're still there, or whatever. Right. And it's awesome. Yeah. And I just haven't, I haven't gone played it since then. You know. uh for some reason, that brings me to uh, apparently. I told you about the Sonic Mania Easter egg. Yeah. Where... Um, okay, guys, there's a Sonic Mania Easter egg yeah. uh, where if you're in Hydra City Zone and you hang on one of the chains in the game, because I guess there's a point where you can hang on some chains. If you enter in the Sonic 3 level select code, um, all your spin dash sound effects for the rest of the level turn into Donkey. Yay. Video game donkey, donkey saying like a voice clip from him, and it's like that is amazing. And, and I, what I think it's left, 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 right, 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 up, 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 up. Yeah. While you're hanging on those for the levels, and yeah, <laughs> and then it's donkey's. And voice. then it's, yeah, you hear donkey's voice like it, it's a little Easter egg, and like I never knew that, but I was sitting there watching the Did You Know uh, video for. I don't know if it was Sonic Mania or Censorship in Sonic, but, mm-hmm. yeah, it was one of those two, and it was like, oh, yeah, that's fucking awesome. And I'm going to have to go find that video again and uh, make sure I link it. Because, <laughs> you know, whenever – I mean, it's only right that if I'm going to mention, hey, uh, you know, I, yeah. I watched this, you guys yeah, – I'm going to I'm gonna totally link that. So, mm-hmm. um, But, yeah, it, I, I need like, to – I'll go find a clip of that because I'm not going to buy Sonic Mania. I'm terrible. I, I, Sonic games, like – yeah, I no, try and play them, and I'm just not. Yeah, this is I definitely the Sonic. This is definitely the good classic platformer. Though. Yeah, like it's only twenty bucks, mm. and it's completely worth it. Like the game is amazing. I love. I like. Like this is the first Sonic game that I can say since Sonic Adventure Battle or Sonic Adventure uh, Two Battle. Mm-hmm. I've actually enjoyed playing, and as much shit as people give that game, I, I that game is amazing. Oh too. my god, that game was uh, totally like nostalgia. Yeah, like yeah. it was. I remember it way better than it actually is. Um, I bought it on the Xbox 360 a couple of years ago, and yeah. it's like, oh god, I fucking played this. Like <laughs> this the, is awful. The game on the original on GameCube. Yeah, like, that's it, the one I played. It was that, fun. As that fun. one's actually good. The Xbox 360 and PC ports are trash. Yeah, like I can still do. Uh, although I can still do the S rank on the first level. The fucking downhill. Yeah, yeah, I can still do the S rank on that. Um, but that game, I don't know what, especially the PC port, they're just trash compared. Like it's better to emulate the original <laughs> than it is to try to play either of those. Like seriously, I've done it before. Yeah. Up until you get to either a Tails or a, uh, Knuckles level and then it's, You're, it's just trash period. Eh, I, I kind of like Knuckles levels. Oh, uh, Tails God, levels, so bad. they're just repetitive as hell. Oh, that whole game is yeah. just yeah, I mean, the, and like I remember it. I remember loving it. You know, then, no, you know what the point of that game is mm, to raise your chow. Exactly to like, fucking like, raise them and then throw them across the map. Like that's that's the only like for me. Uh, when we originally played that game, that's all that game was was let's raise chows. Let's make dark chows. Let's make hero chows. Let's make angel chows. Let's make de- devil chows. Like let's do that. Keep feeding them pills and shit. Yeah, yeah, like like. One of the things I remember doing on GameCube is we had a, a um, the the Game Genie, not Game Genie, Game Shark or whatever, mm. whatever the cheat device was for that. I we ended up grabbing, getting a hold of one, and giving ourselves a million rings in the Chow Garden, which allowed us to buy all the Chow fruit, and the Chow fruit raised all stats evenly. Yeah. So you could sit there and max out a Chow. <laughs> re- oh man, now that that was fun shit. Raising the Chows and racing them and and all like that was actually fun. Although a lot of the Sonic and Shadow levels were fun too, yeah. in my honest opinion, the Tails levels, those levels, yeah, when the fast pace, they they were, you realize you're not really playing much in those levels. You're just yeah. kind of watching it move. I mean, but you still at have the same to. Time, they're you, fun. You still have to do a lot of stuff. Like there's still, it's Depending it's a lot of level. it's a lot of interactivity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tails levels were really good though for uh, for getting like the 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 little. Um, 
the fucking bars as you need it. Like the different colored bars you give them that you yeah. get from robots. Because like, uh, like green ones would be great for raising run. So you can sit there and make a Sonic Chow by just getting a, <laughs> getting a fuck yeah like it's so retarded like some oh of the God, dumb that shit that game. you can do but Chows are all I fucking ever did in that game like when now I I can sit down and seriously play the game the kart racing game was kind of fun um, and multiplayer was fun they had more in that game than uh, a lot of other games like there's yeah. just a lot of different fucking it's, gameplay modes and like, shit to do. It, it is the Grand Theft uh, Auto 5 of Sonic games. <laughs> okay, not yeah, not in quality, but in, in the, the amount, amount of shit, of shit stuff. To do, yeah. yeah. Like, because uh, you can raise challenge, you can play the game, you can collect emblems, you know. And you I can, mean, each every character has a different thing to do in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, if there was anything I could compare it to, that's probably it. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean... Nostalgia. Uh, that, that, I, I couldn't I, – I, I don't think I can say the game – you know, I, I want to take back an earlier statement. I'm going to say the game is amazing. The game but is terrible. It's, but it's fun. It's great in its time. Yeah, it, it's fun. <laughs> and like I said, if you're going to play it, emulate it. Yeah. Get a, <laughs> pick up, find it on GameCube. Pick one up. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah, either either get you an original GameCube and, and the game, which I don't know how difficult it is to find that anymore. Either yeah, Or a know. Wii because you can easily get Wii oh, still yeah. that are functional because I um, – but yeah, don't or or emulate it if you got a powerful enough PC to run Dolphin fine. Mm-hmm. Like seriously, emulating it, emulating it on PC is a better experience than playing the PC port or yeah. the Xbox 360 port. Because I had the Xbox 360 port. Mm-hmm. It's fine. But it's not as good as a GameCube game. No. No, it's not. It's, it's, not, it's, not as, it's not as good as the native GameCube. I mean, it's still fine, but. Eh. <laughs> like you can do better. Like I said, if I can say emulating the game is better than playing a port of it, that's terrible. Yeah. Speaking of ports, man, they just released Bayonetta and Bayonetta Two on Switch. Yep, I gotta and, go pick them up actually. Um, apparently they're they're great. Yeah. Like ten, uh, IGN gave it a ten out of ten, I believe. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like again, by the way, yeah. that's the second time they gave Bayonetta Two a ten out of ten. Yeah. Which I mean, it's IGN. They give things stupidly high hey, scores. You, you that could don't say that that's it. probably like a. a like a seven on uh, <laughs> on like a normal reading. gaming scale, yeah. But I mean, with something like that, that would yeah. give I love original game. I do. I gotta say though, I didn't buy the first Bayonetta. Yeah, I bought the second one when I had a Wii U. Right, and you were like, one of like five people who owned it, apparently. But the game was like it was the best game on the Wii U. Yeah, bar none until um like for a long, long time. Yeah, like Galaxy and stuff like that. Apparently, was great, but it's basically a fucking port from the. Yeah, the Wii version. That, that wasn't much. So, I mean, I, I and it, it just it was. It's a great um, hack and sort slash, of hack and slash style game. Yeah, it takes the almost God of War style that's now not in vogue anymore. Not a lot of people are doing that, and changed it enough and made it interesting because her powers, yeah, are crazy and awesome. And it really did make it into its own thing. To it's it's an awesome experience. That's the one game of those is fun. Like yeah, I said, I'm gonna buy it again and the first game because you get that discount. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna be picking them up. Uh, probably, maybe even later today. I don't mm-hmm. know because uh, it's like I never got to play either of the original games, yeah. but they were always so interesting. And I like beat them up. So like hack and slash. The story is it, it it's. It's pretty good. It's different. It's very different. And I didn't play it long enough to completely get Bayonetta 2's story. But the cutscenes are fucking hilarious. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's it's a game that you it looks like it's sh- – well, it doesn't look serious. But you think it's going to be more serious than it is. And then the cutscenes are fucking crazy. It's just, it's just They're goofiness. funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's campiness. Great game. Yeah. In, in, the, in a good way. Uh, yeah. I could say it's campiness in a good way. It's huh. It's funny. Maybe not cheesy, but not cheesy. It's 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 like I'm trying to remember the like one of the first cutscenes in the game is Bayonetta and this dude who I, I I think he's in the first game and for some reason he's working for her now like he owes her a debt or something right and she's in his car and they're driving and I can't remember if she's shooting at something or something's chasing them but she's literally like standing up in his car and he's fucking losing his mind just. It's funny. Like everyone, if you get the chance, should play this game. Yeah, no, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's on my list to play. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm definitely going to look into it. Um. So wait, go back to, to the yeah. beginning of the podcast. I mentioned loot boxes. 
Yes. There's the Hawaii uh, oh, I government official. This story. Is he? I, I don't remember. Is he a senator? Is he a congressman? Statesman? He's or, one of those. He's either a yeah. senator or a congressman. I think he's Senate. But uh, he he is inter- he wants to introduce legislation to uh, make anything with a loot box be 21 or older. Yeah. Because it's, he he. I mean, if you look at it, loot boxes are straight gambling. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they I, I haven't mean, defined it as gambling yet, and there there's excuses that the, the fucking different uh, companies are throwing out there, and I'm sure they'll get the ESRB to oh, yeah, defend yeah, them yeah, and yeah. shit. But, but well, I mean, the ESRB is was made by the game industry, so I exactly, mean, of course, exactly. like yeah. I, I understand why they're there. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a self policing. They, they thing. work. Yeah, they they're definitely going to be working in this case for the game industry. Oh, yeah. And there's also the um, the fucking what was that other group? They they have another advocacy advocacy group. That they throw. Yeah, money yeah. In. I um the ESO. I, I think something like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's Elder Scrolls Online. Um, but they. Yeah, the, I mean, it, it's they'll it's... they'll throw money into trying to push and divert. Um, yeah, but of course. In, I love that the reason is even if it's not classified at gam- as gambling, it still uses all the fundamental yeah. tricks, all yep. of the the manipulation of gambling, yeah. and it's all doing it to a younger audience. And you've mm-hmm. got all these different cases of the kid stealing his grandfather's card. Yeah, um, you've got people that have put themselves into severe debt. Like yeah, I mean the guy that spent money. the guy that spent like thirty four hundred dollars. Yeah. Like the kid, well, no, that was a kid took his mom's credit card or something, spent thirty four hundred dollars. The one guy that has spent sixty seven thousand or some absurd amount on on microtransactions. The one guy that spent all his rent money on yeah. this stuff. It's like FIFA is the one that I see a lot of, and I think that's because like, and that one's not so much in the United States. Yeah, but I think two uh, K is going to have situations like that that'll eventually come out. Uh, but like for FIFA in Europe and stuff, because it's 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 the they're no, like for the rest of the world, soccer's their biggest sport. Oh yeah, and the pred the the way they fucking sell those packs in it is just it's fucking dirt. It's dirty. Yeah, no, I mean it, it uses every bit of psychological manipulation they can pack oh, in there. Like it's it's really fucked up. I mean, even uh, like I said, I play Call of Duty online. Um, it's pretty much the only thing I do with that game is I'll jump on. Play a few matches, complete a couple challenges or something like that. Yeah, and and then be off. Um, and the live services are already already going and kicking uh, to where they want you on your their game every day. Yeah, they've, yeah, they they've you, taken they that idea from the mobile market. Yeah. Oh yeah, like daily well, login, daily bonuses. login. Yeah, it has yeah. a daily login. Oh, I bonus. know. Yeah, you have every three hours you can get your pay. Or whatever for their um, the 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 not premium currency, yeah. the in-game currency, the not premium premium currency. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You don't buy that one, but then every time the, the if you want to go and get the challenges that actually earn you something, you have to go to the place where they sell loot crates, uh, and then of course doing that you have to be in the um, hub where everyone's the HQ yeah, where all the people right, are right. running around opening their loot crates. And it's just so you see all these people with their different fucking outfits they've gotten and the different gun skins. And it's just it's fucking it's like you dirty fucking bastards. Pretty much the way they sell them. It's like you could get one or you can buy this Mondo pack that charges just uh, just uh, under the $20 uh, amount of buying their currency so that you're always going to have some currency left over so that you'll go and buy more to uh-huh. get to zero. Yep, it's yep. like, you fucking assholes. Yep, yep, of yep, course. Yep. It's like when Bethesda released Creation Club and you could buy, like, little packs yeah. of, like, 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 the dwarven armor mod for mud crabs, yeah. but it was like 150 currency. But they only sell them in packs of 700. Yeah. So it's like, in order for you to buy that, you have to spend at least the 700. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta but, spend at least like five to ten dollars. But yeah, like, but it doesn't even give you like an even amount, so you can't it's like you can't a, spend like you can't buy 150 150 coin mod, another 150 coin mod, another 150 coin. Mod. Oh, by the way, you got to spend more money to get more coins yeah. to buy more mods because now you only have so many coins left. You don't have enough to buy a fucking mod. It's like oh, it's like um, when the Xbox 360 <laughs> earlier on when you had to buy the 1600 point cards. Yeah, yeah. And then the games were like 1100. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's like you. What the fuck? Like you assholes! I got this. And sixteen hundred points was twenty bucks. That was twenty bucks. Yeah. yeah. 
I remember. I remember. That's how I bought. Uh, or the games would cost <clears throat> eighteen hundred. Yeah. Uh, fuck you. And they sold them in packs of what uh, sixteen hundred, and like the next pack was like somewhere in the mid. Like what was I think it, it was twenty, and then fifty dollars. But I don't remember at forty thousand, something like that. I don't know. That's probably way off. 20, yeah, no, no, because it was twenty dollars for the sixteen hundred points. Oh no! It was ten dollars for the sixteen hundred points, and then twenty. No, no, it was twenty dollars for sixteen hundred. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it would just it, that was frustrating. I'm yeah, glad no. they did away with that. that yeah. No, Microsoft thing. points was a terrible, terrible idea. Yeah. I'm you know I'm one hundred percent glad it's gone. Oh yeah. Well, it was their way of, and then now the games have taken that, and they look. Uh, I love that Jim pointed out, and I can't remember if it's a podcast or the Jim Inquisition. If you pull up the. Uh, most now AAA games and look at their either their loot crate screens or where you buy their premium currency, you can't tell the difference between that and a mobile game. Yeah, I know. Because that's exactly yeah, what they've it, done, except that mobile game was fucking free. Yeah, like I all I had to Bastards. pay was what I already pay for data access or something yeah. like that. Like, or if you have Wi-Fi, you download it on Wi-Fi. It's like, yeah, no, I. It, I it's really frustrating. Like it's it's really frustrating. It's why I laugh now that. Fucking now the government is... Uh, they're getting involved. Yeah, oh yeah. Yes, they, there's they're, a they're... senator that calls... I see an article right here where senators called uh, the ESRB to uh, take action on loot boxes. Or the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, is going to get involved. That would be incredible. And yeah, I mean, it should have them scared shitless. If that's where they're... Because they, that's obviously they want to go with live services bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, now they're going to have to be... I mean, in the what you would oh well maybe now they'll be good no now they're just gonna be sneakier oh did you um, did you hear that that there might be uh, there was talks mm-hmm. rumors that uh, Disney may be looking to pull the Star Wars license from future EA uh, yeah. endeavors but you know who they're looking at Activision and Ubisoft so it's like at, at one hand I'm happy yeah but then on the other hand um, I hate Activision as a company yeah. as much. Um, while I do think I'll get a quality experience, Activision doesn't do single player well anymore. No, no. Ubisoft, I'm like, I don't want an open, I don't really want an open world fucking Star Wars, but at the same time, I'm almost like, yeah, give it to Ubisoft. Fucking let this I mean, yeah, Ubisoft Montreal make me a Star Wars game. If, yeah, if we're, if we're looking for a single player experience, yeah. like Mon- Ubisoft's the only fucking option of those of those I mean, to, act, to give us that. It's like because if you give it to Activision, you're just gonna get a fucking, you're gonna get the same thing. You're gonna get either another goddamn MMO, which we don't, which I I don't even think they let like do Blizzard or, but I mean you're gonna get a fucking Destiny clone. You're gonna get yeah. You're just not, I don't know. I don't. It's know not gonna know be what studios Bl- the Activision has anymore. Well, I know they own other Blizzard, Blizzard and yeah. um, uh, Bungie. I, you know what? I'm sure they have other small studios. I, I've Maybe compl- they have somebody that could do it well. But I've completely stopped paying any attention to the Activision. They've gotten to a point where I, I just don't care. When, when to it me, came they're, out, they are the Blizzard and Bungie company now. Yeah. Well, when when it came out that they were sitting there and, and trying to patent a, a an algorithm and a technology to, to sell you premium items based on what other people had, like I, I was like, you know what? I'm fucking. There's done with another it. report, and I think it's EA. That came out, and I haven't heard what what's on it. I just saw a quick article that was saying, you know, hey, this is out, blah, blah, blah. Right. It's definitely dealing with uh, microtransactions and right, loot right. boxes and stuff and how to market them to people. Yeah, that's... And that, that I'm sure in the next coming days, if, if, if it's like got any real details, that'll be coming out too. But there's always going to be a new one of those. Just wait oh, for the know, shareholder I know, meetings. Man. I mean, yeah, that's how they're going to – that's how they're going to try to make their money and it's like – all right. Well, okay. If, if trying gonna, to make all of them, like trying I, to just. I, I, fucking... I, if you're going to go this route, you need to stop charging money. Yeah. Stop. You know. Stop. Stop charging me six dollar emission ticket. Stop charging us a fee. If or, you're going to go this route, make it completely free to play. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, fine. Make it pay to win. You're going to do that. You're going to be shitty, but make it free to play. Something. Something's got to change. Or cut the price down. Yeah. It, you know, instead of making Destiny sixty dollars, make it twenty bucks. Exactly. I I think that would be fair for a yeah. game like Destiny, is sell it as a forty dollar game, and then you or no, sell no 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 you got to go even low you got to go yeah. even low I, thirty bucks. I'm or you want to sell Destiny for sixty bucks? Sixty bucks includes your fucking uh, premium pass. Yeah. Sixty bucks includes everything, just like in the first Destiny, sixty dollars didn't include include two major DLC packs. 
Like I, everyone, everyone I heard that played that game after, like like a year later after the Fallen King or whatever right, the fuck right, that was, whatever. like, oh man, it's so great, blah blah blah. Yeah, fuck you. I bought the game for sixty bucks. I was gonna pay another sixty bucks on top of it that was to one, get the full game. That was one of those things that the price dropped on that so yeah. quickly. Oh, it, like seriously, it, it, was, it was with like, it was like three months. Um, <clears throat> three well, or four. Well, because well, their player base was like it it hit so high. Bungie yeah. was like a total hit. And then people realize there's no game here. No, it's and then just it shooting. Just it's just shooting crashed. shit. And when they released that final DLC, it was like, like you said, three months later, mm-hmm. the entire game package, the gold edition or whatever it was, that had all the DLC was literally in the twenty dollar bin. Yeah, like within three months of that DLC release, because now, now you got the game, and it was just a big fuck you to all the people who paid hundred twenty, hundred sixty, yeah. or whatever. Honestly, the, you want to do a game like Bungie? Fucking just go the MMO route. Charge fucking ten, ten bucks a fucking month, and then you can have your. You can still you do your shaders or whatever garbage you want to do, but download the game for free. Ten bucks a month after that or whatever. Yeah, after your first thirty days, you know, like how how yeah, WoW does just things. Just fucking do it like WoW or uh, Elder Scrolls Online or whatever. Well, Elder Scrolls Online is free to play. Oh, they now. want free to play now. Yeah, they're yeah. free to play now, but uh, you still got to buy the game. You buy, you buy sixty bucks yeah. to play the base game. And then if you want access to, like, the DLCs, you, you can pay them a monthly fee for that. Or you can outright buy them. Yeah. And you got cosmetics and stuff to buy. And that's that. a great that, – fuck, why – that's yeah. a great method to do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, you can either outright buy yeah. the DLC or you can just pay a monthly fee to have access to the DLCs. I mean, everything is like the – But the base game is free to play. There's so many <clears> – when the MMO boom hit, Yeah, there's so many games that just fucking did not – make it yeah and honestly i that's that's what's going to end up happening to fucking the whole industry if they keep going with this live shit oh yeah no it's I mean, just, it, when the more they push this the more yeah. it's just going to die off and in the I next got, couple of years every game is going to be uh destiny or and um like have a uh battle royale mode yeah i mean then, in, for the next few years and that's why you know for me personally that's why i'm, I'm loving the switch's indie marketplace because mm-hmm. i mean 15 20 bucks i get a fucking high quality game. Yeah. It may not look amazing. Yeah, it looks like a. It might look like a fucking really high, uh, like a really nice looking SNES game. Yeah, it, but it's, it's going to be fucking fun. And like another for me, another thing that I point to when it comes to AAA titles is Hellblade: Senua's Sacrifice. That game is so incredibly high yeah. quality and beautiful. Why well, can't and it's thirty bucks? Yep. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. all I got. That that that's all I got. That I'm sorry, guys. All right. So I don't exactly know what we completely talked about here. No, we talked about a lot of stuff. This was good. But you know, it was just a good. Just, <laughs> don't sell a short. We're it was a good. It was here. a goddamn good conversation. We, we intended to do everything we did. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it off there. <laughs> all right. You no, know, it was a good yep. conversation. I I felt I feel good about it. You know. <laughs> Had a good time. That's all you that matters. Like you're trying to reassure yourself. No, I'm, dude. I'm literally falling asleep here. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, because you know I just got off work, like, and you know the feeling yeah. of coming here after getting off work. So, oh yeah, I mean, me. I slept all night, so I'm I'm going to be fucking dead for tomorrow. Oh, we didn't even mention fucking uh uh Black Panther. Everyone go see it. I'm, I'm going to go see it either today or sometime this week. Someone was telling me most of the tickets are sold out. So oh, wow! I I was thinking we look pretty into, awesome. I, I was thinking we look into maybe Sunday. Uh, I'm or probably Saturday, not going to be alive Sunday because I've got to try and switch back to a third shift sleep schedule oh, in the God, next yes. day. And I'm like I, I like I said I slept all night last night. That's why I'm so. F- I've got to work tomorrow. That's night. part of the reason why I'm so tired, man. Like it was, I was up till noon. Yeah. Yesterday and it's like uh, it's Friday now. I'm I'm. I'm normally off Thursdays, mm-hmm. and my body was wanting to be awake and wanted to do shit. And I'm like, no. All right, anyway, we're getting off into <laughs> rant territory again. So for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. And fuck EA. And Konami and the rest. Oh, Ubisoft. <laughs>